With Valentine's Day coming up, I thought it would be a great time to share my Forbidden Love cocktail recipe. I'm sure there are countless cocktails with the same name, but this one is particularly well named due to one of its main ingredients, forbidden rice. This rice is naturally black in color, and when soaked in water, it turns purple. The base of this cocktail is a not-so-traditional horchata. Instead of doing a traditional Mexican horchata, like I've done in the past, I'm leaning on some Asian ingredients to give this cocktail its flavor. To enhance the rice's purple hue and give this horchata some sweetness, I'm using ube condensed milk. Ube is a beautiful purple yam that's from the Philippines. It has a vanilla-like flavor and is used in a lot of Filipino desserts. I wanted to try and make the condensed milk on my own, but ube yams are really hard to find here. I'm also using black sesame, almonds, cinnamon, and coconut, both shredded coconut and coconut milk. The first step is to toast all of the aromatics, including the rice. This rice has a really nice nutty flavor to it, and toasting it brings out that flavor even more. First, I'm adding the rice to the pan, then the almonds, the cinnamon, the black sesame, and lastly, the shredded coconut. Make sure each ingredient gets time with the pan surface by using a spatula or tossing. I'll toast these over medium heat for three to four minutes until all of the ingredients are fragrant and the coconut looks toasted. Now I will add all of this to a heat proof measuring glass to mix with the hot water. I'll pour three and a half cups of hot but not boiling water to the rice mixture. You could also add cold water and let this sit for several hours up to overnight in the refrigerator. Soaking the rice in water releases the starch from the rice, as well as helping to release the flavors from the other aromatic ingredients. By adding hot water, you will only need to let this sit for one to two hours. You can stir it to help speed it along as well. Once all the rice and aromatics have been soaked for at least one hour, I'll blend it in a blender for one minute. Now I'll just need to strain out the horchata using a nut milk bag to make sure no large particles get in there. I also don't like to squeeze this out too much because it can start to push out a thicker, pastier rice milk, which can get a little bit slimy in the final cocktail. This yielded about one and a half cups which I will add back to the cleaned out blender along with a half a cup of ube condensed milk and one cup of coconut milk. Now I'll just blend this all together for a few seconds until the ingredients are well combined. The result is a beautiful rich purple horchata. This tastes amazing on its own but I think it tastes even better in a cocktail. For this Forbidden Love cocktail, I'm going to add three ounces of the horchata to my shaker tin, followed by one ounce of coffee vodka. I actually made this for an upcoming project I'm really excited to share with you guys. After the vodka, I'll add three quarter ounce of pineapple rum, and shake for 15 seconds. Then I'll strain into my coupe. I like the bit of light colored purple foam on top and the whole two-toned effect that's happening here. So I won't be garnishing the cocktail. It looks so pretty on its own. Not only does it look great, it tastes even better. It has tropical notes from the coconut and pineapple rum, but the warm vanilla notes from ube and the nuttiness from the rice and almonds make this a perfect winter cocktail. The coffee vodka adds just a hint of bitterness to it, and the texture is so silky smooth. I hope you guys give this one a try. It's a very unique combination of flavors, 
but it's really delicious and interesting. For more romantic cocktail recipes, check out my website, theweepearl.com, and sign up for my newsletter to receive a free ebook and some additional recipes that I haven't shared on YouTube. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and I'll see you all soon with another cocktail video.